Hey guys, before starting this video, if you guys are into building cool mobile and web applications, then make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button so that you get notified every time I upload any video. Thank you guys and do enjoy this video. So hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the second part of the Flutter video series where we will be building a fully featured Flutter e-commerce application. And in the last video or in the previous part, we actually did a project setup. And in this video, we'll be building the category section uh, in our homepage. So as, as you guys can see over here, we have this uh, category section. And it will basically contain uh, the different types of categories our products belong to. So each category is going to be defined by a category card widget. Uh, which will take uh, an icon and a title uh, as for parameters. So yes, uh, this is what we'll be building today and we will also be able to uh, scroll this horizontally. So yes, so let's get started. So if you guys are following along with this video series, then make sure to check out uh, the GitHub repository for this project where you will be able to find the source code and also many important files uh, which I will be updating after each and every video so uh, make sure you check it out I'll put the link uh, in the description below so guys in the last video we actually mentioned this category widget over here but we have not created it yet so what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, add a new folder to inside my lib folder so I'll just call it as widgets widgets and inside my widgets folder i'm going to create a new file uh, the first one would be uh, category uh, dot dart and they say the next one would be a uh, category card dot dart okay so back inside my category dot dart file what i'm going to do first of all i'm just going to import it import the material package so i'm just going to copy this and paste it here and I'm going to create a stateless widget and I'll just call it as a category. So now we have created our category widget and it is going to return a list view. And this list view is going to have some children. So let us define some children for this list view. So first of all, let us uh, give uh, define it inside a container because we'll be needing uh, uh, also uh, we are going to define a column as its uh, child because we'll be uh, needing the icon, both the icon and the text or the title. So children. And the first one would be, a, let's call it icon. Icons dot uh, book. And we'll give a text. Just name it as book. All right, so let's save it. And uh, as you guys can see, uh, we actually do not have the icon or uh, nor the uh, text displayed over here because we have not imported the category widget uh, in our homepage dot dart file. So let me import it first. So import uh, dot slash uh, double dot slash widgets slash category dot dart. Okay. So let's uncomment this. And let's save it and we still do not have the text and the icon uh, either over here uh, that's because we are using a list view and the list view is actually going to take an infinite amount of height and we have not defined the height uh, anywhere over here so basically we are getting this error into our debug console so if you check out debug console then you guys can see that uh, here it is listed that the viewport was given an uh, unbounded height. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to wrap this list view, the container, and I'll define a height of, let's say around uh, 200, let's save it. And we have our uh, icon and uh, text over here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this up. Just copy it and just paste it here paste one more okay so if I save it again as you guys can see we have our categories but uh, they are uh, 
actually stacked on top of each other but why uh, we want them horizontally as uh, we have seen here so we want them horizontally so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to define a scroll direction inside my list view so scroll direction and i'm going to set it to access uh, dot horizontal let's save it now and as you guys can see we now have uh, the categories uh, stacked horizontally and uh, if we uh, use container for each and every uh, category then it uh, would actually uh, be a lot a uh, lot of code we actually have to uh, write a lot of code over here so what we are going to do is we are going to define a common widget uh, for uh, this category so that we will be able to use it uh, with inside the list view so back in my category uh, card.dart file all right so here i'm going to import uh, the other material package material.dart and then i'm going to create another stateless widget and i'll call it as a uh, category card okay and then uh this widget uh, will actually take some parameters the first one would be uh let's call it icon so we need an icon and the next one would be the string for the name of the category so name okay and now we need to initialize them so uh, category card and this dot icon comma this dot uh, name okay and then uh, it is going to return uh, first of all it is going to return a container and that container uh, is going to have uh, uh, some children or child container actually has child not children so child and the child would be a uh, column so column column and this column is going to have some children uh, basically it is going to have two children the first one would be the icon so i'll just call here icon and the next one would be a text widget and this text will have be defined by name and yes that's it and now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to save it and uh, I'm going to import it over here in my category.dart file. So import, uh, I'll just, just use the shortcut double, uh, dot slash uh, category card dot dart. And, and after that, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to replace this. So I'm just going to remove all of this. And uh, in, instead of container, using the container and then defining height or children, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to define, uh, I'm just going to use category card. And inside this, first of all, we need to define an uh, icon and then we need to define the name of the category. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to define the icon. And the first one is actually going to be a book icon uh, with a size of 40. And the name would be, uh, since we have a string, so I'll just call it a uh, book and let's save it. And we have the book over here and then uh, I'll just copy uh, all of this so I'll add a comma out here and then copy so basically we'll be adding a couple of a few more categories so I'll just paste it here maybe six categories okay so save it and we have uh, six books but uh, let's replace uh, let's give uh, some different icons so the second one would be a computer uh, computers and uh, the third one would be let's say uh, uh, let's say games maybe and then let's call it laptops because a computer is a bit long so laptops and uh, yes yeah, so this one would be a uh, game so game if we have some game icon or not so Okay, so we have the game icon. Maybe this one. Oh yes, I remember one. So it is called video game underscore asset. And let's save it. And as you guys can see, we have these icons. And uh, for the rest of them, uh, this one would be uh, for movies, maybe. So movies. 
and uh, it is going to have an icon of a video cam maybe yes so uh, you guys can add any icon you want you you guys can also i uh, use a uh, png images so you will just have to define it over here so i'm using icons so that's why i'm uh, defining it as icons but if you want to use custom uh, png format images or something else you just have to define an image over here but uh, for now i'll just keep it simple and i'll actually be using the icon so let's save it and yes so our uh, the next one would be uh let's say watches you want to add a watch category so watch okay and then the last one would be probably uh let's say a uh, furniture maybe so furniture and this one would be uh let's say we can save it so we have our categories over here and now what i'm going to do is actually uh, let's make these categories a bit bigger so we want it to make it exactly like this so uh for that uh if we uh ha hadn't defined any common widget like this category card then we have to change and if we have used a, a container instead of it then we have to change uh, for each and every car uh, category item we need to change the uh, shadow the effects and all but for now uh, we since we have uh, used a common widget we'll just be changing it right over here so what i'm going to do here is i'll be wrapping this container with some padding so i'll wrap it with a padding of around let's say 10 maybe let's save it okay this is looking a bit much more de decent right now and then after that uh what we uh what i'm going to do is i'm also going to wrap this uh, this column with a uh, padding so let's wrap it with a padding and as you guys can see we also have the horizontal scrolling effect over here so uh, yes it's working and then after that uh what i'm going to do is actually uh provide a width to my container so that uh every uh you know child takes the same amount of space because if you guys can see clear carefully then this word is uh, longer than this one so this is going to take up more space if we do, do not define this with uh, attribute so what i'm going to do uh, i'm just going to define a width of around 200 for each and every uh, category card card uh maybe 200 is a bit high okay let's de define it as 100 and also what i'm going to do i'll be uh adding some textile to the text so uh maybe i'll just uh give a textile or yes so right here as you guys can see i've given a font size of 18 and i've also given a font weight of bold uh for my textile so let's save it and as you guys can see now our uh now the names look uh much uh clearer and much bigger so yes and also for the icons part we have already defined the size of around uh, 40 for each and every icon and then back here uh what we need to do now is we need to def give some uh, shadow effect as you guys can see over here and also we need to increase the spacing between these two uh, children so what i'm going to do first of all is i'm going to add a size box between my icon and the text so size box of let's say height around uh 10 Give a comma over here let's save it and as you guys can see we have some spacing over here and uh also uh, now let's actually decorate this thing so what i'm going to do i'm just uh, going to uh use the box decoration so box decoration inside the decoration attribute in, in, in inside my container and out here first of all i'm going to define a color so the color is will be white and then uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to define a, a box shadow so box shadow so it is basically going to take a list of box shadows so box shadow and the first one we, we would be actually using a single box uh, shadow widget in inside this list so uh i'll just give a color so the color would be let's say colors dot black let's save it okay so uh 
uh, okay so actually let's give it some grayish type color so maybe blue gray and also add a blur radius so blur radius possibly uh, let's say five so save it okay so now we have the effect but our uh, container has uh, is actually has uh, too much height so what I'm going to do I'm going back to my category.art file and I'll just decrease this height to maybe let's say around 140 okay let's put it as 120 let's save it all right so we have this uh, the category cards over here and after that what we need to do is uh, we actually need to make this uh, corners the corners a bit rounded as we can see over here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to uh, give a border radius hopefully so border radius and it would be a border radius dot all yes to border radius dot circular with a radius of around uh let's say 20 maybe okay we have a decent border radius and Yes, we can also increase this padding uh, to around 10. Save it. Okay, so we have the category section over here. And also, let's make this a bit smaller and let's bring uh, this uh, title to the center. So I'm going back to my home page. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to wrap this uh, text with uh, center widget. Let's save it. And also, I'm going to make this a bit smaller, possibly 20 and i'm going to uh, give a size box over here so to give some spacing so with of height around uh, let's say 10 uh, let's save it okay and also i'll be adding a size box over here all right and uh, the next thing what i'm going to do is make this a bit bolder fun to it uh fun wait uh, dot bold let's save it okay so now we have our category section and uh i hope uh, it's looking uh, quite uh, good because i uh, yes it is quite simple but uh still it looks uh, quite decent and so guys uh this is it for this video for this part and in the next part we'll be building the models for our products so that we can uh display it over here like uh like this and yes so guys uh thanks for watching this video and do like and share this video if you found it helpful